Ladies and gentlemen of the Groove Nation, David Lemon here for the number 30 Groove Lemonade Q&A, where you come on live, I answer your questions that you ask. So we are going live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch at this moment. There are people slowly getting on live. Thank you very much for being here, guys. If you're watching the replay, thank you very much for watching the replay. We we'll mentioned some of the things. Uh, a lot of people will be asking for Groove Mail, Groove Webinar, and updates on that, and immediately I will let you know we are doing a state of the Groovion on Thursday, the 10th of June. So you may want to clear your schedules. At this moment, the time frame is from 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time till whenever it ends. It usually goes for about uh, three hours or so. And um, hopefully this is going to be feature-packed and information-packed as everything else we had before. So if you're just looking for this information, there you go. We are, uh, I don't really know all the details about uh, what is going to be talked about. I have just like uh, bullet points, but we'll mention the state of the, the apps that are planned for release and some of the future projects that Groove have been working on. Uh, so you will know all of those. So that's kind of it. Uh, if you came in for that information. We are going to be welcoming the people and answering the questions that you guys have. If you have any questions, if you didn't post them on the Facebook post previously, uh, you can do that very, very simply. Just jump into the video, this, this live stream, and in the comment section, you can just put in your questions. I would ask you, please, if you could, in front of your, in front of your questions, just put, just put a little Q so that I know that this question is for me. So it would be like Q dash how to da 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 da. Um, that would help me immensely just by understanding that the question is for me and not for somebody else inside the actual chat or the, or the comment section. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for being here. At this moment, I can only see comments from the people watching on YouTube. If you are here watching from Facebook, if you could just please put a comment in so I can see that everything is running nicely. Uh, Facebook from time to time knows to give us a little bit of uh, issues um, where the comments just not sh don't show up for my, for my side on here, so I don't see them. Uh, so let me just jump into the Facebook group and see if we are actually live on there. Um, Yes, we are. So in case you're watching on Facebook, I would appreciate if you if you comment just so that I see if the if it is working or not. Just do a test so that I see for myself. Okay, yeah, perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, dear Facebook user, I can see you here. You you posted hello. Um, thank you very much. If this is you, I would appreciate if you head over to StreamYard.com forward slash Facebook, approve the actual StreamYard to access your, your name and profile image, and then I would be able to see your details. And now my comment came in for uh, that I posted in the, in the live stream, so I can see it here. So that's great. Perfect. So I can see people coming in. Karen Allen is here. Anna Martins from Brazil. Um, walk us through is uh, Francine is here. Glad to be here. It's, it's good to see you here, Francine. Uh, Manuel, how I'm using group member. Okay, so there's a question on here. Uh, Manuel, in case you have questions, make sure you put the little cue so I can answer them for you. Uh, Nigel is asking, hi, David, feeling better? Yes, thank you very much. For those of you that are following me, I was off for the past two Q&A sessions last week because I had some, uh, I was feeling under the weather. Basically I was sick, I was I was not feeling good. I was not camera ready at all. I had all sorts of different problems and most of mostly flu, nothing, nothing major, no Corona if that's what you're asking. So I'm feeling better now. Um, the color came back to my skin as well and, and we are back to rock and roll. I was actually working. I was just not doing the live stream, so I was working from my from my bed. But I'm feeling much better now. Thank you very much for your questions. Okay, let's just see here. Uh, Imad is here. Uh, hello, David. Good to see you. Thank you very much, Imad. It's good to have you here as well. Ragu is here. Uh, hey, David. Hey, Ragu. Awesome. Perfect. So we are going to start answering the questions. There is also uh, Gru Max saying hey, David. So 
hey to you as well there were a couple of questions asked inside the facebook community before we started the session that was scheduled yesterday and this post um let me just share on here this post with uh with a schedule of plans to go live received a couple of comments as we usually do in these q a sessions i i like to answer these first because these were the people that actually asked the questions first so we are going to give them the answers first so here's ragu he's watching us also on this live stream uh so i'll answer his question on here this is the first one while creating a course in groove member is there any uh, is there any way to add a course outline without category um, I have five lessons like introduction, topic one, topic two, and so on. I don't want that users need to click on the category dropdown and then click on the topic to watch the content. Please find the test screenshot. So this is the screenshot and Aragu is asking if we can have actually a way to not show immediately this one. There was a way that was that was done, but it was asked by the users to collapse all of them. So at this moment, there is no way to manage uh, to manage for specific memberships to have everything uh, like um, collapsed or basically everything shown. Most of the users are creating multi-category and multi-part um, memberships. And at first we had that version where, where all of those categories were kind of showing. So uh, users with long memberships, with a lot of content in their membership, it was very, very, very long and we just had to collapse it so it looks kind of nice and tidy in there so at this moment your membership may not be as large as the other ones that um, that were there but what i could maybe suggest you is to put in the actual uh instead of the topic just put in uh, get your content here and if you have any bonuses then you add those bonuses as a separate category that's how usually people do it uh, just so that they like separate the main content from the bonuses. So the bonuses can be in a separate category and this could be another access level when you're selling your membership or selling your content, then you you give those bonuses to some people, you don't give those bonuses to others. So this way you can control. If you have multiple categories, then the per category, you decide the access level of who gets what. So at this moment, this may not be the, the nicest if you are doing here like topic and then you click the, the drop down arrow. But in case you have, for example, as I mentioned, uh, the title is uh, access your content. And then this is where they click to access the content. Then, then they can see topic one, topic two, topic three. That's the preferred preferred way and this is how i would do it and then if you have any bonuses or any kind of extra even if you don't have anything extra maybe you can you can say like uh, another category for for get support or contact us here and then you can do things like your email address or or your support uh, contact information you may also have um a facebook group where you're collecting people into and you're communicating with them maybe you can put that as well there or if you want you can also mention um like you create a category which will say extras and you put in there your support information your facebook group you can also put in your other content that your other content and services that you're selling so there is a portal but you can also put one of the the posts in the actual membership in that extras uh, folder to be the offers that you have online up and running so uh, you may also sell something from your membership for the people that access this uh, access this content access this membership so um, that's what i would do that's what uh, i would probably uh, create if i would be on your uh, your place you're correct it doesn't look very very good if you have just only one thing to put in the membership but if you just think about it there is a lot of things that you could add on and then this kind of flow would would make sense so this was a feature request that was asked by users and this is why we added this on basically the auto collapse functionality so that it doesn't show um, opened and all of the the posts and subcategories they don't show automatically but it is all collapsed so the users that want to go into a specific category they click on the drop down arrow hopefully that helps okay original has a question about uh, i try to upload images in groove pages but they don't become fully visible in the gallery after refreshing the page i can see that there are new images added but just shows a black square adding them to the page isn't working either 
is this a common problem at the moment or just on my end so original i did read this comment earlier and i went there immediately and then i tested this flow i tested with multiple accounts of mine and i always got the same thing so let me just show you with one of these tests that i did um basically uploading images there aren't any issues right now that i found if you have any kind of issues and this keeps happening uh, make sure you you select the um, an incognito window make you make sure you open up your your builder in an incognito window and test it that way very very often and this happens all the time uh, users have these chrome extensions uh or any kind of browser extensions mozilla has it opera has them and things like that um so very often these browser extensions cause issues with builders and text editors and and uh places where you create content or where, where you create something using drag and drop or typing um very often the the chrome extensions cause those issues so i can just show you right now at this moment if i go in and upload an image let's just type uh, choose this groove because it's a smaller image it, it will upload fast as you can see it shows up in my image library let's just choose another one um maybe this groove lemonade image that i have if i just click the upload this is a bigger image so it takes a little bit of time to upload here we go it shows up and if i click on it one more time select it update it shows up nicely so at this moment there aren't issues that i found so in case you are still experiencing any kind of issues with uploading images first try to open an incognito window second if it's still happening open a new browser and try to do it from there and then if this is still happening please record a short video uh, with loom sensepark with any kind of uh, recording uh, software that that can record your screen and please provide that video to our support team supporting can look into this issue then for you and then uh, we can get it fixed as as soon as possible but at this moment as you can see there aren't any issues from from my end that i found so we would appreciate your feedback on this one okay so uh, original has another question i'm trying to sell a digital product globally how will the vat be handled with a groove cell if it's not possible with groove does stripe or paypal calculate it cal calculate it and show it on the invoice so at this moment the vat is not shown on the invoice anywhere at this moment you you would have all your products that you're selling with groove cell inclusive of vat you can um you there is no way to edit the invoice at this moment in time that you that you have with groove cell but you can set up the actual sales process that it actually has the the, the products in the total price of the products is inclusive of vat we are working on a on a tax and a, and a handling of the tax for selling from groove cell and the, and there will be two steps or two phases of the of the tax and the vat handling in roof cell one will be a uh, direct integration with tax jar it's a it's a platform that handles the tax collection and and filings and things like that taxjar.com this is something that we also have in groovecart so if you if you are familiar with groovecart um you can connect your tax jar account and then this uh, sales tax is is calculated for you and handled by the tax jar integration this is the first phase that we are working on and this is in process right now and the second phase is we are going to be doing a more manual way of handling tax as well so people will have option if they want to integrate with tax jar or in case they want to manage the the taxes manually this is probably something that you are looking for right now and this is being worked on um i do not have an eta on that one because uh because that is currently in progress i know that we are fairly close to to finalizing this tax jar integration after that we are going to be doing this manual um manual processing of of the taxes but i do not have an eta on that unfortunately right now um it's basically coding and then testing and then fixing the code and then testing more and it, it can be a week two three i really don't have a clear answer on that one 
but yeah it's coming and it will be available for everybody in groove cells so at this moment um there is no way to show show the vat on the invoices but you can actually during your sales process say that uh, that all the prices are inclusive of eat and things like that um i don't know how stripe or paypal manage that and can you do it from there i i didn't look into those options but i'm pretty confident that in case you 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 log into your stripe or paypal account you can find more information about that or reach out to their support team so they can they can assist you with that so um that are the answers to these three questions that were posted inside the this schedule of the live stream hopefully this answers your questions um if you have any follow-up questions, Raghu and Rishinal, I would appreciate in case you, if you post it here inside this live stream. Okay, so let's just go and answer the questions on the actual live stream. Okay, so there is a Tropical Cabbage, very creative name. Uh, can you give us an update on GrooveMail? Last I heard from Donna, it was 30-day process starting May 1st, should be almost fully complete. Now, where do we stand? My account is still paused, thanks. So everybody that is uh, looking for answers on Groove Mail, I invite you to join the state of the Groovion on Thursday. This is in two days, I believe, and some time zones. In my time zone, it is, uh, but Thursday, the 10th of, of June, um, we are doing a, a state of the Groovion, which is kind of a meeting where Mike Filsane turns on his camera and basically uh, spills the beans of what is happening in the company. Where are we with the progress of Groove Webinar, Groove Mail, and everything that we are basically working on in Groove. So this is where I invite you. Mike will have more information about Groove Mail. Uh, the last I know is that that we are sending out the emails from our side to. Um, to warm up the new IP. So in the past couple of days, we added in even more IPs and we are um, we are warming those up and we want to create um, a test, test for mass sending emails. We have a lot of VIP customers and not VIP, like partners and also some of our users like you, for example. Some of you guys have uh, email lists of thousands and millions of people and we want to stress test are are sending with these ips and warm them up so i believe today we are sending out 480 emails and then the next day we are sending even more and more um i can show you how those emails looks like look like you will you will receive them uh, if you haven't yet then you will receive them very shortly but um this is how it is looking like it is one of those emails um it will it will say we're warming up our ip address before launching groove mail uh and i would appreciate in case you help us make this progress even faster so basically uh whitelist us and it there is a there is an explanation of how to whitelist uh basically you click on that link and then we prepared a nice a little guide if for your own email client, whatever you're using on how to actually vi uh, whitelist the emails that are coming in. But yeah, you can read through that one. Open every email whenever you receive it from Groove Mike Phil same. Uh, that would be great. Click the links below. So whatever you see any links, if you click on it, that will increase the actual open race and the and the warming up, a warming up of the IPs. And uh, these new IPs that we added will be much better. And um, more and more the emails that we send and that you will send um, will be getting to the inboxes and then also save this email in the folder what i did is i marked this with a star um i cannot see it in here but i marked these emails that are sent by groove with a star i filtered them um let me see how i did that so filter messages like these and i and i mentioned that uh create a filter that star it uh, apply custom label i save it in in groove folder um always mark mark it as important never send it to spam so i created this filter and whenever i receive an email from mike Phil same all of that is applied to uh to these emails this just came in like one hour ago so i didn't i didn't uh do it on this account yet but this is how i would appreciate if you help us um warm those new ips we added a bunch of them so uh we make sure whenever you get access to that uh 
to, to the sending that you will get into the inbox. So that's the process right now that I know of, but more information will be uh, will be uh, will be told on the state of the Groovian. But yeah, Groove Mail is from our tests. Uh, I received only one email from I believe 12, 13 uh, that was sent to spam. But once I marked it as in, in, like when I started and I, when I created this filter on one of my accounts, all of the other accounts that I own were receiving it, uh, were receiving the emails to the inbox. So, which is great news. Um, why am I speaking about this? Um, receiving it in the spam or receiving it in the actual uh, inbox because this is the most important thing that each and every email platform wants to wants to have um, to receive the emails in the spam uh, emails in the inbox and not in the spam whenever you send an email we want you to to reach the inboxes and the important folders of your customers and not the spam so this is why we're doing this stress testing right at this moment but more info on that on Thursday. Um, I'm new here. Can anyone guide me one by one? What is the first step I want to start as an affiliate? Uh, Hafsa, there are a lot of people in our community that could guide you uh, hand in hand, uh, get on a call with you and just and just help you set up uh, your affiliate business. So I would appreciate if you just join the Groove community on the Facebook um, on the Facebook channel that we use basically this is uh, visible everywhere if you type in groove.cm in facebook or if you go to our our groove platform you also see a login ad for inviting you to to our community where you can ask for assistance from somebody there are people like uh, we saw ragu earlier uh, and there is many many more people that actually uh, help out customers like you and guide them through. I also created a training that could help you. It's not going through for the affiliate business, but it's going through showing you step by step on how to start having a business with the tools that Groove provides. So in case you go to the videos or even on playlist, there is a full on playlist, you can find the Imperfect Action Challenge videos. And this is the Imperfect Action Challenge playlist and we start with module number one and then by module number five you have a full-on business so there is five videos there's two three hours uh long basically this is a course but it guides you through step by step in detail on how to actually have a uh have a, a system up and running online that you can sell and start even for free um, just by having a, an account on Groove. I give you the products, I give you the traffic, I give you the the basically everything that you need um, so you don't have to think about anything. Just follow the steps and then if you create it, you, you have a business up and running online. So we provide you with a great community of people where uh, where you can get very easy help just ask for it and also trainings like these um, if you would like to get started so look into our content that we have published online you can find help uh, i'm very very confident okie dokie um there is the question from manuel i'm using groove memberships for online courses is there a way to add a test to the course uh you mean test like um uh, like a survey or a quiz or something like that i believe um you could but you would need to embed it through out outside channels through through other tools there are server creation tools there are uh, form tools there are quiz tools that you could use and that you could embed not sure why but i usually recommend tally.so tally uh, tally.so is a very very generous free platform where you can create forms and you can also create different cal calculators and uh, different kind of quizzes um, and sort of tests that you that you are mentioning where um, where you create the actual form and you get the embed code basically just a, a, a little piece of code which you embed into your membership and it's there for you to um, for your users to see and basically fill out that uh, fill out that test fill out that quiz or survey so that they they can kind of um, see 
their knowledge and and see their progress on what they learned from your from your course um this is only one of these tally.so but in case you go into quiz builder or something like that um there are a lot of a lot of uh other quiz builders you can you can create where it it basically creates these quizzes gives you an embed code you don't you don't have to worry about this embed code this is literally a copy paste uh, you get you get some code from the platform you copy this over and you bring it into your membership you click the paste button and that's it 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 works and it just up and running so look into it there are a lot of these um a lot of these options in here that you can find uh, for quiz builders that you can just embed and create your tests and these quizzes so that people can confirm their knowledge that they learned from your course. We will have Groove Survey and Groove Quiz that will be doing this same thing that is coming later. Uh, but at this moment, you can use third-party tools for achieving the same goal. Um, okay. Imad, uh, is there some delay in paying affiliate commission 60 days after the sales? I still did not receive the money. I don't have any information about that. That is something that is going like uh, user per user base. So Imad, in case you have any issues, please reach out to support. They would be able to look into the this this for you. It's it's it could be something is not set up right it could be that uh, the time didn't pass or you don't have uh, enough uh, valid sales i don't really know your situation but this is why i i suggest you to reach out to the, the support team they can look into it exactly what is happening um boom, boom, boom. okay go tummy Okay, hello David. Uh, can I use URL shorten for my Groove affiliate links? It will properly track my affiliate ID. Please help. Yes, yes, because the your affiliate link is a tracking link. Basically, it's a link that will also redirect. Um, whenever you have uh, your tracking link, it's groovepages.groovesell.com forward slash a forward slash da 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 some random string of uh, letters and numbers. This is kind of a, a redirect URL. It's a tracking URL, which after somebody uses that URL, it will redirect over to groove.cm forward slash user ID or something like that, or groovefunnels.com forward slash affiliate ID or something like that. But basically, it's already a redirect URL. So in case you just shorten that one, it's still going to be having the same functionality as it is before. It's just going to be shorter and not long. That's what it does. So yes, short answer, yes. What's going on with GrooveMail? I mentioned that earlier. Um, is there a way to have a membership site that you charge for, but also have a code you can give out for a discount or a free version for to certain folks? Um, yes, this is this is the magic of GrooveSell. So you don't do the sales part in Groove Member. Um, there are a lot of platforms that are the actual membership and the sales platform in one. We have separated that because in membership, you create the content and the delivery of that content. But in Groove Cell is the platform where you create the sales process for, for that. And this is where you add your coupons. This is where you add the, the actual discounts. You can create different versions and, and uh, price points. Let's just say a free version is a price point uh, and a paid version is a price point you can also have multiple different um price points in the paid version like one is 14 dollars you one is one dollar trial and then 14 dollars monthly and then so on you can have all of that together as well so that is all handled in groove cell um so briefly mentioned yes just head over to your groove account uh click groove cell product funnels and there you create your product funnel this is where you actually create your products and then set up the prices set up the structure you can also create a free version of that exact product you can also create a paid version of that product and and uh, you can have the coupons created for those as well all in groove cell um anwar is asking which day do you do the live q and a's i do them on 
Tuesdays and Fridays. Last week I didn't do them because I was uh, I was not going live. I was uh, I was sick, but I am doing them on Tuesdays and Fridays. Hoping you're feeling better, David. Thank you very much, Chris. I am. Uh, we have created a course with payments to affiliates, but now realize people need to be a member of Groove in order to provide them with uh, with and to track their referrals. Um, if you actually follow the butterfly marketing system that that we teach, you don't need people to sign up separately. You, you create an account for them. How do you ensure when they sign up for the course affiliate code, they are also being registered as one of our affiliates in Groove? This is done through automations. We have tested, tested this and they only appear as an affiliate for the course, not not Groove. Thanks in advance for any insights. Okay, so you're asking it to be affiliate of Groove as well under you. I understand. So they are second tier affiliates. They are not first tier affiliates. They will not be directly under you. The, the second tier affiliates, I believe for when they purchase a product from you, let me just see. Um, we have that. Um, We have that, uh, basically they will be a second tier affiliate. They will be receiving, or you will be receiving on their sales, 20% and uh, 5% basically on this, on the, on the second tier. So that is, that is kind of the way we have it set up. If somebody purchases your product, they are second tier affiliates. They will not be directly as a, as a sign up or a, or a first tier affiliate, but they will be your second tier affiliate. David, I'm not sure if this is the right place. Where would I find information on how to build out an affiliate marketing funnel with lead magnet and sending value offers? Uh, Anwar, there are a lot of trainings that we did, and this is the right place to ask. Um, we did a lot of training in the actual uh in our youtube channel and we're constantly doing training simon leung is doing affiliate training he is an actual affiliate and he's also affiliate for other products and he is doing uh, trainings on these i did a bunch of these builds and trainings on on here and uh you can just look into the youtube channel so let me just show you on here this is our one of the videos on our youtube channel i'll open up groove digital and if you let me just close this one and if you click on this little uh, search option here on our youtube channel and type in affiliate you can then see um you can then see the trainings that we did about creating affiliate funnels and anything related to affiliate so the first video you see how to create your own affiliate program this is probably not something you are looking for at this moment maybe at a later point but building out an awesome affiliate page using groove pages this could be something that interests you there is also creating your first affiliate promotion using groove funnel this is a groovathon re recording so this is um something that we had a 14 day continuous uh live stream and one of my trainings was this um, we have other how to build out a quick and simple affiliate site with Groove pages with templates, so you can get a template as well from here. So this may be something that that interests you. And then we have a lot of different videos on here. Get more affiliate signups using bonuses and um, how to get your Groove Funnels affiliate link open in a branded domain, for example. This is a great uh, great video to watch. Um, and so on. So look through the videos, use the different search terms that you have, um, affiliate funnel, for example. Um, simplest, creating a simplest affiliate funnel with a delay button in Groove Pages, for example. This is another training that I did. It's uh, it's less than an hour, but it's, it's very, very simple, you'll see. Um, so there's a lot of training that you can look into. Um, they are all time stamped. So even though they are an hour long or something like that, um, all of them have the time stamps below. So so you can you don't have to worry. We you don't have to go through each and every one of these minutes. You can just click through the different versions that uh, are different different. Um, points in the video for example step number one set up your funnel step number two edit delay button step number three create your vsl there's a speed uh, fun challenge where i invite people to to create something like this fast and then i answer some of these questions that were related for related to the video so you don't really need to see that uh, q a in case you don't want it basically in 30 minutes we build out this 
this affiliate funnel. So if this is something that interests you, you can look into our YouTube channel and you'll find a lot of great content. Just use different keywords for searching what you're uh, what you're looking for. Um, okay, I will just see where I stopped. I was not that plugged in last fall and I missed the Groove Brazil launch. I may have I have many online biz contacts there. When I log into Groove Brazil, I don't see my affiliate link specific to Groove Brazil. Um, you would need to re reach out to the support team. I don't really have a way of explaining right now what you would need to do. Reach out to the support team and they would be able to help you. I know that Anna was watching us earlier. Anna is a person that is working with the Brazil team, so she would be able to assist you on this one. Anna, if you're watching, uh, uh, you'll be hearing from Kevin soon. Um, okay, let's just see the next questions. Perfect. Hi, David. Hi, Johnny. Every time I publish a post in Groove Blog, should I go to the Google Search Console to request the index URL post also in there, or Google will index that new post automatically? Great question, Johnny. Um, Google is a big, big platform, and it indexes a lot of pages daily. Um, I don't know their algor algorithm and if it understands when you publish a page automatically and it immediately indexes it. So I don't have a clear answer for you on there, but I can suggest you what I would do. I would do it always manually. I, If you put in the sweat and tears and you do the hard work of creating the content, pulling in the images, formatting the post, making sure that the URL is looking nice, the SEO, the open graph, metadata, the featured images, the, the favicon, the blog settings, the customization of the blogs and everything, you put in all that work and now just to like leave it on lock and hope it gets indexed is not something I would suggest. So if you ask me what I would do, I would definitely go every time when, when you create a post, a nice post that is that you cannot wait for people to see. You just go out on the search console, just put in the URL and, and request Google to index it. And not just re don't just rely on Google. Do it for Bing. Do it for the other search engines out, search engines out there because um, they may index it faster, those others. Uh, I, I always used Bing and Google only, but there are other search engines out there as well that you could use. Um, Bing, in my expertise, in my experience, um, indexes pages faster uh, than Google for, reason, for reasons unknown to me, but um, this can help you rank faster. If, if you ask what I would do, that's what I would do. Definitely always go out and always request uh, indexing of, of everything new that you create. You have a new website up in Groove Pages. Great. Go out there and request indexing on, 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 on the search consoles of Bing and Google. And that's basically if you want to play the SEO game. There are rules in the SEO game. And one of the rules is it takes a lot of time. Um, but there are shortcuts as well that for example, asking for indexing is one of those shortcuts. There is also uh, other gray hat tips like pinging and and uh, requesting um, like different bots online to just to just load in your page very quickly um, so that Google understands that there is traffic starting to go on there. So it even even if you index it, it it pushes it up um, up the search results. I wouldn't play with those, to be honest. I don't want you to 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 getting any kind of penalties or not penalties, but to to be a bad guy in Google's eyes or the search engines guys. So that's not something I suggest. But search, but requesting the the search console to index is very 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 high on that on those rules and shortcuts that I would do definitely whenever I create something um can I use okay I answered that one already yes you can um hi I'm a lifetime member uh is it the same beta and pro versions I will be starting now to use groove services after purchase long back um so Vijay Yes, the pro is when you pay for the Groove platform. Then you have access to all the all the services that we uh, not the services all the uh, apps that we create, and all the future apps that we will create. And what beta means? That means that we are still very strongly, very hardly, not hardly. That's not the correct word. Uh, we are 
always developing the platform to be better. And at this moment, in this beta phase, we are we are working on big changes to the platform. And one day you may log in and you just see something completely different in the platform than than what you see today. So this is the beta version where we are still adjusting to to where we want to be and how we want to to have the platform but it's always going to get better and better and stronger so in case you purchased in and this is for everybody not just Vijay in case you purchased in your in the long run the game this is not a quick a quick scheme that we are doing in here we don't want to get your money and just fly out uh, with it we are here and you see basically the changes every week we are doing something new um and that's for you guys to be able to to create something with easier tools fa faster tools better tools than something else something else out there and also for us because we are using the same platform that our designers open up groove pages and they build in there they open up groove cell and set up the products that we ourselves are selling so we're creating it kind of for ourselves but for you as well to use so short answer vijay beta is a stage that our platform is right now which is the early stages where we are still developing it very very uh, strongly changing big things on the platform but the pro what it says pro that means that you are a paid member that you purchase the program and that means that you are with us for the long run that you believe in what we are doing uh joanne is here saying welcome back david hope you're feeling better thank you very much joanne i am feeling better and i am looking forward to these uh q a's and the new challenges ahead um hi david happy to see you again here again could you tell me what is the procedure that is being uh used to enable the use of emails with groove mail for platinum members okay eduardo i believe i answered that earlier hopefully you saw that one basically um more information on that there will be a state of the Groovion with Mike Phil same on Thursday he'll be able to 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 give us more information on where we are with that but for what I know right now that we ourselves are still improving the platform um, and we added on very recently just new IPs that we are now testing for stress basically testing for mass sending of of emails for users that have big email lists and they want to send out thousands and millions of emails in the future we are just making sure right now from our end that those emails get delivered and get delivered in the in the inbox and not in the spam Okay, Home Value TV. Thank you for info and Groove Member and Groove Cell. Are there tutorial videos for what you described? Yes, you're the best. Glad you're feeling better. Thank you very much. Um, there are trainings on Groove Member and Groove Cell. There is also trainings from me. Then there are also trainings from other Groove members. Just type in uh, Groove Member training in in YouTube or facebook or wherever you prefer you can also find a lot of uh, these trainings in writing and kind of a in a in a documented way in text format in google so just type in group member training and you'll find a lot of different things um i did one the last one i did was in the in the imperfect action challenge where i where i where we got the fulfillment option when when you go into groove cell and you decide who if somebody purchases the price point of 50 dollars um, per month for example they get this access to the membership if they purchase the 499 option they get the whole membership access so when this fulfillment through groove cell came in then i recorded the actual video in the imperfect action challenge and that is in the actual video number four if i'm if i'm correct let me just double check so if you go to the imperfect action challenge playlist and go to yeah uh module number four um you oops not this one but here you can then see product fulfillment and this is where I explain the actual product fulfillment. I created a full-on membership in here in this video. So this could be the video that you watch. Um, I explained the different fulfillment options. 
uh, you have the option to fulfill your product on a thank you page. You can fulfill it through an email and you can fulfill it through membership. So if you want to create a membership, this is what I explained in the step number five in here, setting up a membership fulfillment. So this is something that you can watch. Just click on this, this link in, in here and then you can watch from one hour 49 minute mark where i go into the membership fulfillment how to create a membership how to add the content how to uh, get the upgrade options how to set up the access levels set up fulfillment in groove cell how to prepare for affiliate promotion and things like that in case you would like to learn how we set up the product in groove cell there is the imperfect action challenge number module number three this is where we set up the product in groove cell so you can watch this one as well uh you go through the timestamps and then you can see um setting up the domains on here um, going over the funnel map going over this okay so here 38 minutes 26 we are going to groove cell and we're actually making the 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 product funnel in here so that's also something that you can watch there are trainings on on each and every step along the way okie doke um let's see where did i stop whenever i go out and then i show something on a different screen uh my comment section just flies away and then i need to find the place where i stopped um okay groove website maker uh, are they adding the source file feature back, the icon that looked like this? When when are they adding it back and will it ever add it back? At this moment, there are no plans to add it back. It created more issues than it solved. It also created security issues and basically people could steal other people's work and we don't want to allow that. This gives us also legal trouble and we don't want legal trouble. So that's not coming back, but in case you have anything that you planned to do or you wanted to do with that functionality then just go to the feedback portal um, create a, a request and then we can look into this one and add it in the future at this moment there are no plans to get the the source code back and if you even look at any of the platforms out there any kind of platform uh, that is cloud hosted platform um, nobody gives you the source code option i know that it was cool to have it but it was cool until we figured that people are using for bad stuff as people abused the the access to groove mail when we launched it first they were just using it for bad stuff and then we had to take it off the similar thing happened with this um source code option where people were some people were using for good things and and were creating amazing stuff with it we're using custom code um uh, embeds and custom code they were changing the source code there were some people that don't know how to use it and they just made mistakes and then they they were blaming our support team for and, and our company for creating a bad platform because they didn't know the code that's one of the versions but but the the most uh, important thing is that they were users that abused this for for bad stuff and we just don't want to allow that anymore. So um, we don't have plans to add it back anymore. And if you have something that you planned, you, that you did with this functionality and that you want to do in the future, just either upvote the request or request it in the feedback portal if it is not there yet. Can we start now with Groovevideo's lifetime platinum member with free? You can, you just need to connect your, um, your hosting and encoding options so if you're on a free account you don't get the actual inbuilt hosting that groove provides for the paid members hosting or place on a real actual server somewhere in the world costs us money so if you paid for a for the platinum or the paid version of groove then we can allocate uh, i believe 100 gigabytes of that space on, an, on a real actual hard drive in a server uh for you but in case you are a free member you need to provide your own hosting your your own uh kind of space on a hard drive from somewhere we have a couple of options that you can connect and amazon s3 is in my option the in my opinion sorry in my opinion the the cheapest and the and the 
and the go-to place where people go for hosting. So in case you connect your Amazon hosting um, and your encoding option that you can sign up for, uh, sign up very easily online, then you connect those and basically you can use Groove Video as your video hosting option, hosting platform. Uh, okay, <laughs> he is alive. Glad to see you survived. Thank you very much. I'm not quite sure who you are, but I'm happy that you're happy. <laughs> um, good afternoon. Question is GrooveCard going to get an e-commerce type of theme where we can edit like the kind of dedicated themes the website, the website features have? I'm not quite sure I understand. GrooveCard, uh, is GrooveCard going to get an e-commerce type of theme we can edit like the kind of dedicated themes the website feature have? Can we import our own themes into GrooveCard? Um, so we do have theme, or we call them templates in GrooveCard. Themes are something else. Uh, when you go to Shopify and platforms like, like GrooveCard, like the basically platforms that do the same thing as GrooveCard, but not as good as GrooveCard, um, they call they call their templates uh, themes because theme is something that uh, that is already set up in code and they give you access to change stuff on that template. What we do is we give you access to change everything, like completely redo it if you prefer. Um, we are, however, going with the option of allowing you themes and also to change everything in there. But we are not going to do it through code as others are doing it because, for example, in case you want to have a Shopify theme, you would probably need to hire a developer, but not with GrooveCard. We have templates, but we are also going to develop themes, and this is uh, not that far in the future, uh, where you're going to be setting up your brand colors, like uh, the different header option, the different layout options, the different um, kind of feel of the of the of the look of your store and then you'll be able to go and change the the text on it the the, the buttons to where they link and things like that but with that you're also going to be able to still drag and drop things wherever you want you can uh, you can change the positioning of of things like if you want the button on the right or the center or things like that so it's not going to be married to the code uh, we are going to allow you this functionality of managing your your pages yourself. I actually wasn't sharing my screen, but I was explaining it. So what I was explaining that you can still drag and drop things once we come up with the we come out with this theme options. So for now, there are templates. If you go into pages, pages in here, you go to home page and you click these three dots you can see the option use template if you click on the use template you get these templates that you can import for example here is a cases template you click on the template and you click here to select it once it's selected it actually pulled in this uh this template in here so you can see how it looks and this is now my store with the cases template it's it's a template where it still allows you to manage everything. So this is an image. Uh, this is a product uh, list element. This is an image on here. This is text. This is also paragraph text and things like that. So it's it's a template that we created, but we still allow you to, uh, to change anything on it without knowing code. That's the most important thing. Your second question was if you can import themes and the answer is yes, but those need to be GrooveCard themes. So they need to be built in GrooveCard and they need to be exported in GrooveCard. The where you find that is in this hamburger menu on the top. You click that and then you click themes. Once you go in here, you can uh, you can see your themes. If you click the, the My Themes button and you click the plus, then it's going to create a copy of everything that you have in your builder right now. So all the pages will be created as a theme. So that is going to get 
generated as a bundle and then as, as one file and then you can export it and then provide it to your clients for example to import that as a theme um, or basically a template pack which every page in here in these in your menu has a different layout that you designed for that theme so yes you can just head over to the upper right hand side corner click themes you go to my themes and you create a theme from what you see on in the builder through the plus button on here once you're done you'll see something like this and then you can um you can load the theme or you can download the theme from here so that uh so that you can share that file with with some other users of groovecart they will be just going into the themes option and just uploading the file that you provided them through this option here so it's pretty simple very straightforward um you just need to understand that a theme at this moment is everything that you design inside the builder on each and every page everything will be exported in a kind of a a template pack a page all the pages will be exported with all the content that you put in there so that's about that um i bought platinum last year and from them to now to now it's a total different ball game yeah i completely agree with you um last year when actually two years ago when we start when i got my hands on groove it was bad it was really bad I personally, I, I purchased the platform. If for some of you that don't know, I purchased the platform with my own money and I actually asked for a refund. And then John Garcia, the, the manager of, of support, he actually got me to stay. Like, we are going to improve it. Like, this is just a start. What you're seeing right now is going to be unrecognizable in the in a couple of uh a couple of months and years and in the future you're going to be super happy if you stay and i actually decided to stay and then i explored more and and learn more and and just provided my feedback helped out the users in the facebook group and now i'm basically here teaching you guys about everything that i learned so far but i can confirm it's 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 a huge huge difference from where we were to where we are now it's a uh, now it is a full-on business before it was just a, a a project i would call it a project can we all just like the stream so that david knows that we all appreciate what he's doing thank you very much groove website maker uh i i would appreciate it <laughs> um how to integrate the favicon uh favicon is something that you can integrate in multiple different platforms you can add it in groove member you can add it in groove pages you can add it in groove blog you can add it in groove cart not sure what platform you are preferring to, to do it so if you could uh let me know omar on where you're trying to edit um most people start out with groove pages i'm just going to jump into groove pages and show you very quickly where to do that so now this is groove pages and here in the left hand sidebar let me just zoom in a bit here in the left hand sidebar you can see the settings if you go to settings and site settings here you can see the favicon you can delete the groove favicon and then upload your own um let's just choose something from here let's just use this bowl on here okay and then this is now my favicon i click this pink check mark and now this is saved as you can see from behind me it says content saved um you have to publish your page as well just to make sure that this is actually published live but this is how you do it in groove pages if you would like to know for us for an other platform um then please let me know omar i would be able to assist you on those as well um is the groove asia event this coming weekend going to be on youtube live or facebook live i believe it's going to be on both i believe it, we are going to be live streaming it with Streamyard. um it's going to be interesting so you may want to to tune in for that for everybody that don't doesn't know what we are talking about we are launching groove asia we are creating a version of the platform specific for the asian market um where we are going to use the different payment gateways different uh, processes different way of handling uh, 
payments, for example, for the Asian market. Uh, the Asian Asian kind of culture is a bit different from the from the culture that is in Europe and uh, and US and and other parts of the of the world. So different cultures require a bit of different handling of of things like payments and invoicing and things like that. And uh, Groove Asia of an a version of Groove for that specific market will help us achieve that much much easier um so we're launching that or we're creating um we're creating a campaign for people to know that that exists and there will be a lot of speakers on there where we are going to provide uh, training and um uh, and a lot of interesting information on how to get started with groove i will personally have a training on there it's going to be um, it's going to be more of a website and and how to use uh, Groove pages and Groove blog and, and mostly techy stuff, um, so that you can learn how to how to use the platform. Um, but there will be other people that will be presenting. There will be Damien Bradshaw, our own Groove cart and Groove blog theme and template designer, and he's also um, designing the actual platforms like Groove Webinar and Groove Mail and and the dashboard. And he's is basically a user interface template designer for a lot of our different apps. Um, we're going to have Donna Fox and, and Simon Leong and a lot of people like John Benson and uh, Rika Mateka and Travis and Travis Stevenson and people like this that are helping us kind of make Groove what it is and what is going to be one day. So it's going to be interesting. You mentioned uh, redoing the imperfect action one more time. Has the date been set yet? At this moment, it hasn't been, Joanne. I'm um, I'm I'm very confident that it's going to be um, after summer. At this moment, in during summer, a lot of people are not tuned in to their uh, to their computers. It's very warm, and in a lot of places, so people just tra travel with their families, and um, and I'm confident that it's going to be after summer. I don't have a date for it yet, but that's somewhere where I feel that people will be uh, back home, um, refreshed or even tired from their holidays, and they will be able to follow the, the trainings without any kind of stopping. And I want to, to have people on here constantly so that they can follow through on what I'm teaching. Quick question, David, uh, will you do another imperfect action to adapt it to the changes that happen to Groove? Yes, that is the plan. That is the plan, as I just mentioned to Joanne, um, is going to be after summer. I plan to do um, I plan to do something that will help you get started as an affiliate, basically, to, to, from nothing to not from nothing. Of course, you you have your own experiences and 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 thinking and Groove, of course, but I want you to to kind of understand how to use Groove, even if you're not using it for anything right now, how to just use it and just set up an affiliate business that runs online and just promotes for you. So uh, that's basically the topic of the affiliate, uh, of the actual affiliate version of the Imperfect Action Challenge. Could be that I redo, redo the Imperfect Action Challenge that we did last year with the newest technologies that we have this year, but that's just something for the future. At this moment, I didn't think about that yet. Hey, David, good to see you. Can you let me know uh, how to add different PayPal account for GrooveCart and sell if it's already added? Because now you can connect, uh, because now you direct connect and no unique mail ID is required. I'm not quite sure I understand the question. You just need to log in to your PayPal if you're connecting it to Groove Sell. If you're connecting it to PayPal, you need to provide the actual, um, I believe, the token or, or some other information that you need to provide. But you can still use the same PayPal. How to add a different PayPal account? Um, so GrooveCart and GrooveSell are not connected in any way. They are not connected in payment gateways. They are not connected in the processing of the payments. Uh, so I don't see any issues why it wouldn't be possible to add a different PayPal account. I don't fully understand your question and if you tested something already, um, because now you direct connect and no unique mail ID is required. Um, 
For this one, Ramji, I would appreciate if you reach out to our support team. They would be able to understand your issue a little bit better and to point you in the right direction. But at this moment, I, I don't fully understand your question. So if, please open a, open a ticket on uh, support.groovedigital.com and the, our support team would be able to assist you on this. Home Value TV is asking, what is the difference between GroovePay, Stripe, PayPal? Best to use GroovePay. Is GroovePay in beta now too? So GroovePay is a service. It's not a part of the software package of Groove Funnels or basically the Groove um, platform bundle. Um, GroovePay is, is, is a credit card processor. It's not like PayPal. So PayPal is completely different. It has its own kind of a, a payment system. So there are, when you when you're selling something you you ask for credit cards or you ask for paypal you can also pay in paypal with a credit card but they have their own completely um, unique system of of making the payments so we can compare groove pay to stripe and authorize.net and and nmi and and these platforms that actually take the credit card numbers process the credit card numbers and then they do the transaction that way so groove pay is is not it it's, it's still in development. It's a it's it's a project from Groove, and Groove is just a two year old, less than two year old company. So it is not as um, as old as Stripe and the other payment uh, options out there. But it's cheaper, easier to integrate with Groove, and it's just all in all uh, going to provide you a much better system because what Groove Pay is doing, we do. Um, an approval before so if you if you apply and you don't get into the system then you you will not be able to access the groove pay um, but if you actually apply and and you're approved for groove pay then you're set you can now start making the payments on your account and just rest assur rest assured that you're not going to be asked to like pause your sales or to do any sorts of uh, sort of uh, management while you're actually in a launch or when you are already selling what stripe and paypal and the other platforms do is they allow you to very easily start uh, with only a basic application and then they can at any moment in time they can just ho oh, stop 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 time out you're selling too much too fast or you're just like we don't like you let's let's see what you're actually doing um, they can at any point in time just just stop your sales or or just uh, like stop your account from receiving any more money and and this is the security you have with groove pay we do this check in front so you don't have to worry about your sales and it's cheaper it's like transaction fees are something that people don't fully understand that they have to pay them and the payment processors don't really advertise their they are like very clearly their payment fees um but if you are selling in uh, in in big amounts if you are already uh, an established business and you're selling big amounts of products then those transaction fees start to start to start to take a big chunk of your of your money so um yeah this is this is basically the difference between groove pay and the other pay payment processors um okay Kevin has another question. Is it possible to connect and use a third-party affiliate tracking platform for Groove member or Groove self sales page, such as JVZoo, WSO, ClickBank, etc.? Um, no. So you can use a third-party affiliate tracking platform. Uh, you can use Groove member for the actual content delivery. At this moment, it is a manual way because there is no automation right now at this point in time where you can say, if somebody purchased something from ClickBank or JVZoo or uh, the Warrior Forum, so that they automatically get that access to Groove member. We don't have an automation for that yet. We will have it in very, very, very short amount of time because we are doing connections of uh, Zapier, Public Connect, Integrately, Integromat, and the others uh, with Groove Cell, Groove Mail, Groove Pages, and Groove Member. So this is all coming within within this month. Um, I'm not sure about uh, Integromat, Integrately, Public, but Zapier is fully, fully. Uh, not fully, but it's it's developed. 
We are just wait, waiting for a couple of tweaks and Zapier connection will be coming live very shortly. Um, but yeah, after that is done, then you'll be able to set up uh, automations for, for when you sell somewhere else, then fulfilling group member. At this moment in time, you don't have that capabilities, no. But I don't fully understand. Um, I mean, okay, JVZoo and ClickBank and, and the Warrior Firm, they already have their own uh, base of affiliates and things like that. So I understand the, the point of, of being there. But we also have our own affiliate marketplace where if you if you promote, um, promote your product, you can all already control uh, everything like in ClickBank and, and like in JVZoo through our affiliate marketplace, which is which is selling very, very nicely right now. So you can use that one as well. Um, Ramji is saying, good day. Uh, hi, David, good to see you. Can you let me know how to differ? Okay, I actually answered this question, Ramji. Um, I'm just going through, uh, through, one, through the comments one by one. I saw you ask the, the same question a couple of times. In GrooveBlog, there's an opt-in form on the sidebar. Where does the detail go as I can't work it out? Can I connect my integrated autoresponder to it? Um, you can. This is through automations. So let me just show you quickly. I will open up. I'll just come onto this side. If we go to GrooveMail and if we go to GrooveBlog. So in GrooveBlog, in the settings of your GrooveBlog, over here. So once the blog loads, you can see the settings in the sidebar. You click the settings and you have the forms. This is the actual form. And as you can see, these are the forms that you have in your Groove Mail account. So if you have if you have your Groove Mail account open and you go to forms, you can create a form that will be actually displayed as the as the form on Groove Blog. So this is this is how you connect it. If you want this form to communicate with your own autoresponder that is integrated with, with Groove, then you just go into automations and you set up uh, an automation. If somebody fills out a form and then you select the form, this is Groove Mail 2.0 testing is the actual form I have on here in Groove Blog. So you set up an automation. If somebody fills out the form that I have on my group blog, then add to an integration, and then you select Averber, for example, and then you select your, your list in Averber, okay? David Lemon's list, and then you add. So this means that we connected the group blog form to my Averber account, and if this will be filled out, then people will be just automatically transferred there. Um, um, basically, the, the subscriptions or the uh, signups will be going on my Averber list. And this is now uh, Groove Blog to Averber. Automation. You click the Save button, and you need to make sure you turn it on. Whenever you whenever you created the automation, you can see the red dot on here. You need to make sure and uh, click Actions, Resume. This is now active. So Groove Blog to Averber. Um, into automation is working right now. So this is how you can create that. Um, okie doke. Is there any person in Indian Telugu language uh, can we can understand more about Groove? I don't know. From our company, there is nobody uh, that's that does trainings in the Indian language. So um, you may find somebody in the community. There are a lot of users from India. So you may find somebody that creates trainings. Um, you can also type in some keywords, groove pages or group member, uh, Telugu or Indian or Hindi or something that you are looking for in YouTube or Google and find trainings that way. David, how can I make a journey for the visitors of my opt-in page and after that and after so that I can get them to Groove Cell to receive a free report and then take them to Groove Funnels registration page? I don't understand what you're trying to do. Um, how can I make a journey for my visitors of my opt-in page and after that so I can get them to Groove Cell to receive a free report and then take them to the GrooveFunnels registration page. 
Um, there's a lot of things happening in here, Eduardo. So you want to create the opt-in page in um, uh, in Groove Pages, probably, where somebody fills out that form, they go and get a, a free report through Groove Cell, and then you want to send them to to your affiliate link. I, if I believe that could be the flow that you're trying to do, what I would suggest is is just do the Groove Pay and uh, Groove Pages, sorry, the opt-in page, and then you send them to your affiliate link. If they sign up, then you can give them a bonus. So here's what you would do. Let's just do a quick training in here. So let's just find a block which does what we want. Lead magnets, maybe this or yeah let's play with this one complete guide to digital marketing okay i zoom out a little bit so we can see more uh, so now this is my page i'm going to delete this block i don't need it so this is my this is my page if somebody signs up here uh, i want to say get it now okay and i'm going to link to to nothing so get it now free so this is my this is my first page that i created in groove pages now i'm going to do a pop-up where i'm going to ask them for their email okay I clicked on this first template and I'm going to duplicate this form. In the first, I'm going to ask them for an email. In the second form, I'm going to ask them for the name, full name. Or actually, I'm going to leave this. Input name is going to be name. Input placeholder is going to be uh, full name this okay i can just click the update button and now we have the form asking for an email and for a name um i'm happy with that so what i can do is i can just say um fill out the form below and get the free report if i can type that would be great report okay i can now come in here and just set up the sizing of this one a little bit smaller that's not what i want to do um let's just do the sizing then in pixels I'm going to add an element which is going to be a container in here so I can center things on the on here. There we go. So I choose the container, I set it up in the middle, and I can just say get it now. Something like this. I'm not going to make this pretty, just maybe the background of this button and the text to be black for example uh, this is my form now now i'm going to connect it to to something okay i'm going to connect it to an integration so i selected the form container i'm going to select integration i'm going to connect it with zapier for example and i'm going to send the people to to a url this url is going to be my affiliate link so i'm going to open the groove partner program and I'm going to get my affiliate link where I send people that fill out that form. So I'm going to links. I'm going to copy over the first one. You can you can use different options, but I'm going to just take this, paste it in here, and then click the update button. And now I have a f a full on opt in page slash funnel where if somebody fills out this form they get directed over to the to the affiliate link which is not the best thing because 
I never said that they will be redirected to uh, to a GrooveFunnels sales page, which is not something that I, I would suggest you to do. Um, but maybe we can mention and uh, free uh, software. Something like that. Basically, you need to you need to handle the expectations of the customers. If you if you just direct them to uh, to your affiliate link, they will be like, "What? What? It's just it's just not a good flow." So, um, there we go. So now we have this. Let's just publish it out. Oops, I need to publish it out. Here we go. And the next step is to manage the bonus. So. You asked about bonuses and you want to deliver it through group sell. That's not needed. You're going to do that through group affiliate. So here we go. We have now our um, our page. If I click on this one, oh, I need to connect this button to my pop-up. So I go to click the button. I come to configure, select link to pop-up, and I link it to pop-up one. And now I just publish it out. And let's just test it here. As you can see earlier, I was showing how to set up a favicon. It's showing now this bowl uh, as a favicon. Let's reload this. And now the pop-up should show up. I can fill out this information. And just click this, successfully sent. And I'm redirected over to my affiliate link. So the first part of the the promotion is working now the second part is that i need to handle if somebody signs up here that i actually give them my my bonus my something you can do that through the integration that we did through pop-ups but you can also do it through when somebody signs up in groove so the way you do that is in groove affiliate so let's just go back to to the dashboard and if you click apps groove affiliate you can go to bonuses here inside the promos tab. You can just click the new bonus button, say free report, and just put in your link of the free report. I can just, just find something very quickly in my my drive. I'm just going to, to copy over the get link. Copy link, okay. So I have my bonus for a free report, and there we go. So now we have this free reports, and now we need to manage who gets what. So inside the bonuses, we need to go to promos, promotions, and links, and there you can see the the little gift box next to next to your promotion. So here is Groove Funnels. We share the Groove Funnels link we can add uh, this bonus to somebody that signs up on a uh, on a different different price points so on here for example if they sign up for a for a lifetime groove pages or annual then we can give them the free report or something like this on here or they sign up for a groove time groove on lifetime upgrade we can give them the free report and things like that so this is this is how you could do it as well you can do it through the integration and you could do it through this you can also directly um link the actual uh, fulfillment after they signed up in here you can send them from this form over to the actual url not sure what your flow is but you can manage that uh, different ways different setups um definitely a lot of options for you okay we played a little bit now let's just go on answering more questions um when you will be enabled in groove funnel um not quite sure i understand this question what what enable i don't fully understand what you would like to enable um in regards to groove card how's the affiliate program going on um there 
we planned out the affiliate program we put a put a pause on that one because we are working on 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 some things uh, some other things the affiliate platform is at this moment um developed in plan but we didn't we didn't start working on it yet most probably it will be uh it will be done by the end of the year or beginning of next year because we have another bigger bigger thing for groove cart which we which i mentioned earlier we want to add allow this theming and importing of themes and purchasing of themes and things like that which is a more requested feature feature and functionality because it also um we also are changing the ui of all the whole platform and this goes hand in hand with that so the affiliate program for groove cart this is planned out it's coming but at this moment who it was um we have a we have a different priority right now how can i connect my groove blog with my contain container blog that is on my web page i don't know what the container blog is if you could explain what the container blog is that would be great um paul um hi david great to see you back thank you very much paul um groove pages is it possible to anchor the main menu navigation to blocks down the home page i can see that selecting a main nav title can give you an external link option uh, this can then anchor to the block but this creates a new main navigation element um is the is this the only way to do it um okay i understand so what you're trying to do is to uh, is to have your pages in the pages section but have those to actually link down so uh, let me show you what is what you should do um, if you would not sure if you're familiar with this one but i will show you anyway so um when you have a when you have a page with multiple blocks i'll find one in my pages in here not this but maybe okay here we go so i have a i have a page with a lot of different blocks and i'm going to put a block on of the nav bar on top of it let's just use let's just use this one with the button so we have the nav menu links in here and these are going to be replaced by the pages as you can see here inside the pages tab opt-in larry's page groove funnels page seven and so on so i don't really want these to be shown so i can click on this element and just remove these okay pages to exclude as you can see i want these pages to be excluded and i can click update and now they are not showing anymore hopefully yeah there we go so now instead of these i want external links and these external links don't really have to go out they can be linked to blocks and you can link the blocks by by choosing here for example let's just see um invitation let's just call this invitation and this is going to be the block for the invitation okay i'm going to call the next block introducing this is going to be Thinking to this section, my third is going to be step by step, or let's just say guide. Guide. You cannot see it, but I just typed in guide. Okay. I'm going to click update, and then I'm going to come back to it. So, the first one is the invitation. So I'm going to come over here where it says, "Dear friend, for some reason, da da da." So I'm going to click on this block. Make sure that you are in block, in here. And then in the top over here, you can see this little pencil icon. If you click on this pencil icon, you can now type in invitation. And you click this check mark, and now this block is called invitation. Now this block is called invitation. Now the the next block is introducing. So this is the this is the block. I'm going to click again on this little uh, little pencil icon and type in introducing okay and let's just go on to this one which is going to be the guide so let's just click in here and just call this guide okay uh, this so 
I can go back up and just, just let's just select the text to be white. Not quite sure why it changes. That's a new thing. We need to find what find out why this happens. Okay. Just so that we can see it. Um and now I have these menu items in here. I can go to configure and I can attach the link to a block, which is now called invitation. Introducing is going to be also linked to a block, which is called introducing. And then the guide will, is going to be linked to a block that is called guide. There you go. So we named the blocks, and now we can link to those blocks that we named. So once you actually publish, and then people click on through these links, they will be they will be uh, scrolled through the different sections. Let's just actually publish that and test it out. Um, this funnel has quite a few pages so it, it takes a little bit of time but it's going to it's going to come on here we go so now I can go and open this exact page I will probably need to refresh oh no here it is so I can click on guide and it shows us the guide block I can click the introducing and it shows us the introducing I can click to the invitation and it trumps over here to the invitation part so this is how you can name your blocks and then a link and anchor them to the to the different parts of the page. Um, yeah, there's that. I actually set up the yellow color on here, so this, there's something funky going on with this. On here, I set up the yellow color of the text. In, in the builder, it shows up blue, but the yellow shows up in here. Uh, it's taking over that color, so we'll need to get that fixed. Uh, I just found this. Um, okay, hopefully this helps. Let's see the next questions. Okay, I answered that one already. Um, when the when UPI payment will enable in Groove Funnel? I don't know what the UPI payment is. Um, I don't understand the question, unfortunately. Um, I'm Lifetime Platinum, but I have not signed up for GroovePay yet. Can I have multiple GroovePay accounts under different business names and bank accounts? Absolutely, yes. How can I use color gradient in Groove Pages? At this moment, we don't have an inbuilt gradient uh, selector, so you could create um, an image that is a gradient and then add it to buttons or backgrounds or images or anything else um our platform allows you a lot of a lot of functionality let me show you in here whenever you have a button for example like this one this is an image but if you have a button like this one and you want to add a background to that button and not only the color, but you actually want to add, a, add an image as a background, then you can do that. For example, let's just let's just do this. Look at this. I created a nice little loader, um, and now I can add this as the actual bottom background. It, it's kind of funky and, and not, not very nice, but um, you can have buttons like these. So basically, you create a gradient or a GIF or anything really, and you can add it to to backgrounds of images or or backgrounds to uh, to buttons. Let's just see how this looks. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can play with it. It's it's giving you a lot of customization options, and a lot of modern um, builders do this that way because uh, color picker of of the gradient is something that needs to be. Uh, needs to be uh, considered on specific elements and it doesn't really look good everywhere. So it needs to be custom code. It takes a long time and we just didn't didn't have that as a priority right now. We have a lot of different functionality that the functionalities that we are um, that we are looking into. Um... 
some videos in order if possible you recommend to get started with building groove pages um the trainings that are on building with groove pages you can find from me from myself or from other people out there um when you are saying in order i i create all my trainings in order basically whenever i create a build uh, a build or something like that it starts from scratch and then we go further and further what my videos some people like it some people don't because these are longer videos these are one hour videos but i managed to cover everything like literally from start to finish at the finish at if you follow through you have a full-on website or full home full-on funnel or full-on something um some people like these short videos of 10 15 minutes which i don't think that it provides enough information for people that are starting out so in case you take one of my videos if you watch it through and if you do the actual task you will learn how to use groove pages so it doesn't really matter which one just see what you're trying to build a funnel or website or or anything else just look into a youtube find a video click play and then and then follow the system basically that's my suggestion i go through step by step i could have split it in in multiple different videos but i just like to create one video where everything is mentioned and then separate the sections through timestamps some people don't prefer it i like to do that um you can your own website with exclusive products i have one okay i don't know if this is for me or not in these cases i like to see the queue in front which a lot of people don't actually put in there when i was speaking of dedicated website i was speaking of sections in groove where you can create sites like an agency site that is section of groove it has a template that says create me an entire site i don't know if this is for me or somebody else i'm just going to skip it in case you guys have questions if you can see this banner scrolling on below i appreciate if you put in the queue so that i know which question is for me and which one is for, not for me or at least put in hello david like manuel did will there be automation like the one you show to averber but inside groove so we don't have to use averber or any other platform um we do already have those automations in there we're going to add on even more automations um we just have the base basic ones but yes we will have a lot of different automations for different products like groove webinar and groove selling groove blogging groove everything we developed our apis and this was something that that we did uh, a lot of work on and this allows us to now connect to zapier to to other duct taping apps as i call them uh, so that we can collect connect our own platforms together and also outside third party platforms to our own um question from uh, ar champion um to use butterfly marketing do i still have to use groove self form or i can just use groove mail form you need to use the groove self form because you need to have um if you want a proper butterfly marketing funnel you need to use the username and password fields that are not provided on the uh, on the groove mail forms those Th that information is going to be sent over to groove member where um your where your automation for creating automatic affiliates can take over using those username and password create an account for your for your affiliates basically on groove so you need to use groove self form on that can you show how to layer one block below or above other when using negative margins Oh, that's the z index i'm not quite sure if we actually um there was one issue with a z index so let me just see if that was fixed so we have the actual uh white part white block over here i'm going to uh, not this but uh, this one i'm going to pull it up so that here we go i'm going to make it hover over the the button for example yeah that that was the issue that was happening it was uh let's just see background let's just set it up as white background let's try to do it now 
here we go okay so i cannot go all the way to the bottom but we are not seeing the the no thanks option i covered the no thanks option no thank you okay so i covered that part now i can go and set this this block in the layout in the layout option i can set up as um, as zero or let's just set it up as one okay and this block we actually covered this top block i want to set it up as two layout i want to set it up as two so two important here we go so now as you can see we cover um we have decided that the f that the top section this healthy eating with the video and the and the button and no thank you is visible because the z index is two and we said okay this is important that it is two now this section that we have below is not visible because we we have a lower z index option on here we have it as auto or we had it as one so if if you set this up at th as three important now this is on top and the and the previous one is not on top anymore as you can see so this is the z index you're playing with in here so uh if you want to have one tip one thing on top of the other you need to manage the, the actual z index on which one will show first so this one or or this one so that's the that's the z index uh, is doing so what 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 i did in here is oops um is i i typed in the number i typed in uh, an exclamation mark and then important and this this makes it um this makes it stick and this makes uh, the actual platform understand that this is this is how i want the the flow to be so this is important that this is one this is on top of the other um so that's something that you could do as well hopefully that helps um How can I use color grading in group pages? I actually explained that. I've created four landing pages, create four products A, B, C, and D in groove cell. Product B is an order bump of A, product C, upsell of A, and D is upsell of C, and it will be a single product. Product A and product B will deliver via email automation, and product C and product D are the course which I have created in Groove Member. Can user purchase directly order bump product and upsell directly from landing page if I set up the product link? Also, product C and product D are the course if I cannot see the full on uh, message. But yes, yeah, so each and every product has its own um, product link. So the product links are set up in uh, in Groove Cell. Let's see if I have Groove Cell opened up somewhere. Um, I don't have it, but I will open it here. So if you are in group cell and you have set up a product funnel with multiple different products um as you mentioned main offer or the, or the main product bumps upsells and things like that then you can come into the tools and create checkout links for those uh basically for for the purchase of that so if you if you go through the funnel you may have set those up as bumps or upsells or one click upsells so that they they actually remember the payment and then you send the people on to an upsell or a bump when when they actually decided to purchase or not um, but each and every one of your products still has its own uh, own link that you can create and you can you can sell it on its own as well so you can create those links in here or if you want to just promote the pages those upsells are on you can you can promote the upsells as well um the people if they didn't come if they didn't come to the upsell through the whole funnel flow if they didn't purchase the main product and the bump and the, and then came to the upsell you just give them the upsell link they will need to type in the credit card details the name and email and things like that as when they are buying a normal product so you can take any product in group sell and sell it as as a as it's on its own if you prefer um 
you can create a separate link for it here. Can you show how to layer one block on the, on the front or back on another when using negative margins? I have actually did that. Is GrooveML up and running again? I explained that, uh, Johnny. Um, there will be more info on the state of the Groovion, but it's it's looking good. State of the Groovion is on Thursday, 10th of June, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Can you run, uh, run Facebook ads on a free account? Um, Groove doesn't have anything to do with Facebook, so in case you can run Facebook ads yourself, then you can connect them with, with Groove. Um, Facebook is a completely different platform. If you want to copy over your pixel code from Facebook and embed it, you can do that without any issues on a free account as well, yeah. Um, thanks for the block answer. Can I add? Uh, can I then add second level pages to those new navigation titles or assign existing pages to nest underneath? Thanks, you can, but not to those links, not to the anchor links. You cannot create drop-down menus for the anchor links, but you can have a menu item on the navigation and next to it, you can have an anchor link. So you can have a mix of both. You just need to decide which ones you will hide from the navigation, which pages you will hide, which pages you will not hide from the navigation. But you can have a have a bit of both, but not, not in, in one. David, I'm, I'm glad you're feeling better. Love your Lemonade Q&A sessions are awesome. I always learn so much. Thank you for doing these. Absolutely, Kevin. Thank you very much for being here. Um, new inceptions. Um, where can I find a listing of those Z index codes? How did you know which number to use? It's just one, two, three, four, five. The higher the number, the higher it will be on top of each other. So basically, starting from one, if you set up something to be one, then the step number two, the higher number, let me just show you here, will be on top. If then this one will become number three, then it will come on top. If this one becomes number four, then it will become come on top. So there is no list, there is no code, it's just basically stacking. It's like Photoshop. Uh, if you worked in Photoshop or any kind of any kind of app which has layers of things where you can put things on top, um, it needs to decide what is on top. And, and in Z-Index, it's kind of a deciding per number. In Photoshop, you click and drag something on the top um, and then that that will be on the top, but it's in web design and development. You need to give a number score of what is a higher number or what is a, a higher thing on top and what is on the bottom. So the higher the number, the the higher it is on the um, uh, basically on the on the screen. Also, product C and D are the course. If someone purchases the course, product C and D get access to membership, and later, after a few months, if user product buy product D, and will user get um, another membership access? How user will get C and D will under one membership if user bought product separately after some time or some month? Um, at this moment, that's a great question, Ragu. And for this one, we are doing um, in GrooveMail. In GrooveMail, we will have a history of actions, which will allow you to set up um, set up kind of tracking. If somebody purchased your product uh, A, B uh, before, products A and B before, then if they actually go and product uh, purchase the product C and or D, um, then give give them this access level and things like that. So this history um, uh, history is being developed right now, and this I believe I showed earlier. Um, this is something that you can see if you go to Groove Member, or Gro sorry Groove Mail, and then you go to Leads and you click on Lead. On, on somebody's name for example here is my name and then here this recent activities uh, history of the activities this is something that we are developing and we're very close to finalizing it um once this comes comes out we'll have actions on based on previous activities of a member so this is what is needed in order to uh, allow us uh actions on if somebody purchased a bump offer previously, then do a certain action based on that. Um, so that is being developed. Is there a way to change the font of the entire page or do you have to do that on each page separately? Can I set my own default font? Yes, you can do that. Um, you, there is one thing though, and if you're using a, uh, a page template from from our designers, then it may be that uh, you would need to go and set up your 
your own fonts as page default. So let me just show you what I mean by this. When I clicked on this element, this is a, this is a paragraph text. This is a this is a text element. And here in the text font style, you can see that this is a page default. I click on this one and you can see that it's not page default anymore, but it's called it's font. Okay, so if I change it to page default, um, now this is the actual page default. So let's just see if it took in place. Um, not sure why it doesn't show, but it's the page default now. This is the page default. This is the page default font. This is the page default and, and so on. So each and every font that you set up as page default, you can then uh, control either in the page settings. So let me just show you here. This is the page. And if I go click here, the three dots, edit settings, we have a font option in here and I can decide every font on my canvas on the page that has set up page default, I can then override with a page setting, okay? So if I want bitter to be my font, now all of these fonts that were set up as page default are now in a bitter um, uh, font style. Okay, it will not show up here, but it will show up over here where you actually set it up. Okay, so this is when you're setting it up per, pay, uh, per page. You can set up each and every font per page. Okay, if you want to set it up per site, so your whole site to be in one font, so you don't have to go in and manage each font separately, you can open the settings over here and you can go to site settings and then choose the font for the whole site again here. So this will be kind of overriding each and every page on your site to make sure that every font that was set up as page default uh, to, be, to be set up in the font that you select from here. So hopefully that helps. Um, when will the domain management system be updated again for for hosted by Groove and will your in-house solution be using Cloudflare's enterprise plan? We are using Cloudflare, Cloudflare's enterprise plan and it's go going to come in a couple of days. We actually had a, had a demo the other day and let me see where that is. I had a, I had a recording. Let me just show you quickly if, if I can show you that. Um, we had a we had a meeting the other day where we actually um, showed how that is is looking like. Let me see if I can I can show it to you here. I will download it uh, on my computer first, and then I will I will show you that part. It's looking good. We are doing uh, a little bit of UI changes to make it easier on on everybody, but we did a very good job on that one. It works good. It, it is much safer than previously, and it is going to allow much faster uh, connections of, of domains. Um, it's going to also do all the connections to the, to the different apps automatically. So in case you connect your domain and you decide that the root domain will be connected to Groove Pages, to your brand website, for example, you can then go in and set up um, your Groove member on a subdomain, you can set up your blog on a on a subdomain very very simply without going into the C names and DNS records and adding in all sorts of different stuff. Is going to be handling that automatically. So let me just uh, let me just show you very quickly on where we are with that. I'm confident that Mike is going to show that in the in the state of the Groovion, but I'm just going to give you a sneak peek on here. Um, so. Here we are. Let me just bring this on here and bring this on here. So this is how it's going to be looking like when you go into your uh, into the upper right hand side corner, hamburger menu, uh, settings, my domains. Uh, this is going to be what you are seeing here. So you're going to see your domains. Your it's going to be showing if it is secured or not. It's going to show you the different apps. So in this case, this is Groove Pages, and if there is a line below, that means that the that the root domain is connected to that app. Uh, in this case over here below, you can see that the uh, 
uh, that the main domain, the root domain, is connected to Groove Member, for example. So uh, we have different screens that we are working on. So this is a video in a video that I'm showing you a video of. Um, let me show you here. So this is when you connect a Groove Cell, for example. When you hover over different apps, they will show what, what those are. We are going to be adding in Groove Cart as well in here. If you're adding in a, a domain, for example, uh, if you want to manage a Groove Pages um, domain, then, then you will be able to add it on like here. Um, and it's going to be much simpler. You will understand it much better. And we we had some new ideas. We will have a full-on wizard for connecting your domain. So it's going to be step one, select the domain, uh, choose your domain, da 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 da, and manage the record. So it's going to be a, a guide guided way of setting up things in, in Groove. And um yeah, it's, it's just it's just much uh much easier much simpler it's going to be it's going to be shown in the state of the groovy and i'm pretty confident um not sure maybe it goes live at that time or or not but it's it's getting finalized at the moment um could you explain how the visitors on my webpage can dial the phone number that is on my web page um, absolutely yes. This is a very simple, um, very simple process. I showed it last time. In case you have a button, for example, this button in the upper upper right hand side corner over here, we're going to use this button to be a, a call button. Okay, so I'm going to come here. Let's just use a different button. I have P tag showing up. Let's just see if I have a. Um, not sure why it didn't show up, but let's just use just a normal button on here. Okay, there is, it is not showing up for some reason, the configuration menu. Let's use this promo test. Here we go. So now we have this button, and if I want to configure this button to say "Call us now," and I want to link it to a URL, okay? In a URL, um, here we go. And there are two two things that you can type in. One is the TEL, which is for a telephone, and this is for for when you're calling somebody. PEL, and then you type in the, the calling number plus one, two, three, four, five, and then something like that. Um, let's just use it so it, it is all in one line. So this is one of these things that you can use. If you copy this over and you use this as the URL of the, of the button, then you can have this be the, uh, the, the actual setting of the of the button so if somebody presses the the call us now button on their phone it's going to immediately open up the phone app where they can uh where they can just press the the, the, the call call now button on their on their phone and then get in touch with you so that's one of the that's one of these the tel is is one of these functions there is another one is mail to column and then type in something like um name at mail.com this can also be copied over or this can be also typed in here as a url and you can set this up to be the actual setting of the button or a, or, or a hyperlink or something that you that you want um, to link to so these are the two the two settings that are most most used in in website building uh, the TEL for call now option and the mail to for email immediately. Um, the drip feed feature in Groove Member is not working. Is there a workaround? I'm launching a course next week and I need this feature. I don't know what is not working. Um, so, Naveen, record a short video and report it to our support team. At this moment, um, this is the first thing, first time I'm, I'm hearing about it. So, uh, if you could do 
a video that would help us. Is there a way to switch sites for containers with a layout two by two container group pages? There is, but it's not a built-in system. Oops, sorry about this. Um, there's a uh, there's a there's a Groovester that is using the Groove platform. He he actually created a video about that, and let me just show you in here. Um, let's see what is his name. He is like your your ink or something like that. He's Jean Francois is his name, and I believe let me just find you are ink. You are ink. He actually created a video about um, switching the switching the the containers on certain devices let me just show you in here inverse column and mobile view here we go so uh if you search in youtube how to inverse column in mobile view in groove pages jean francois will show you here he also provides you a little um a little document that you could use it's it's very easy to to copy paste and basically um just paste into groove pages that is going to make sure that when somebody's previewing your page on a mobile uh, mobile device, then um, the column order is, is switched. This is one of the ways. This is the simple way. Uh, we will be building this into the system. But for now, um, for now, you could do this, or you could do the way that we do it. So at this moment is the book is first and the and this text is the second. If I would like to have the text first and the book second on the mobile, then what what I could do is I could just um, select this layout two by two. I can duplicate it and make sure that on on mobile device this first container. Is is hidden, so I would go layout, display none, and in this mobile version, I would I would place this above here, and then the and then the book actual image, I would place it on the other side. So now when we're previewing it, now I have the actual uh, version on here showing um, the the text on top and the image on the bottom so what i need to do on here is hide the the top section but on the bigger devices i need to hide the the bottom section and this is normally how it is done in in most other page builders as well so i need to hide it here i need to hide it here i need to hide it here and i need to hide it here um, actually, this was the, the top section. I need the bottom section hidden. Bear with me for just a second, guys. Um, I hit the wrong thing. So I want to hide the bottom section. And this is how we do it as well in in our own kind of funnels of for for Groove. Um, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to hide it. Okay, so let's leave it like this. If we preview it now. Okay, I made a, I made a bit of mess. I didn't hide the correct things, but if if you slide it lower, you can see that it it changes. It will show the sections that uh, that you selected, and on the on the mobile device, it's going to show the, the text on top and the image on the bottom. So I did it quickly. I didn't I didn't really hide the proper things on there, but these are the two ways. One is to use that code from uh, from that video, how to inverse column in mobile viewing groove pages which is going to be 
or copy paste option or you can do it the more manual way where you actually duplicate sections and then you hide it in the different devices where you want to show and where you don't want it to show so that's basically it um yeah how do i put an animated gif in groove pages you basically just go to images upload it and use it there's nothing fancy um i've sold a few items from the affiliate marketplace how do i get paid it's been months maybe there's a step i missed um you need to first make sure you step uh, set up all your affiliate um affiliate settings if you go into your let me start from the beginning if you go to your dashboard of groove you go to apps groove affiliate and head over to settings on here and you need to make sure that your settings for for payment and tax info are fully filled out if you don't have these filled out then the payments will never be able to reach you second thing is you need to make sure that you have read the actual um um product that you're that you're promoting you need to make sure that you read the their the rules when they are actually paying out and how they're paying out the the commissions if you um if you need to to contact this person then you can reach out to them a lot of them will have um, a contact page or a jv sign up page where they provide the support email or or something like that if they if they don't provide a support email you can just have a look at their at their offer and a lot of these or most of these will have their privacy policy terms and conditions and, and 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 these types of pages on there where they need to mention some sort of a a way to contact them so let me just see formula flawless not sure if you promoted um promoted the the groove oh, I don't think you promoted the group because it's pretty simple how to get paid in, in the group um, program. But if you promoted somebody else on here, then you need to reach out to their, um, to, to that person. Kathy Walls and Rob Verzera, you can see who is the actual seller in here. You can try and find them also in the, in the Facebook group of Group Digital and just reach out to them if you prefer. Um, but we always write out who is the actual seller so that you can get in contact with them. Um, so there's that. Why is there no feature in group member where uh, the access level automatically open up when a member is charged a monthly fee and not making the member click upgrade to get access to the next level? Mm, not sure i understand there there are a lot of functions that are still not added in our platforms so this could be one of those um feel free to request it on the feedback portal but there is a lot of de uh, development going on we are doing something with access levels uh we are also developing the automations for for a groove member for different access levels and, and things like that so um could be that we are already thinking about what you're trying to i don't fully understand what you're trying to explain in here we are adding in a lot of different things but it's just a step-by-step -step progress um okay i'm going to answer four more questions it's already past two hours so i'm going to answer two uh, four more questions and then go on uh with my day there is a lot of other things to do so um and your questions will be answered if not today you can ask them in the in the facebook group and a lot of your questions will be answered on the state of the groovian in case you have questions about the future development so um let's just see the next question vegan diet trends hi david great to see you so my facebook ads manager i have a purchases but on groove card they don't show there's nothing what happened and what should i do um not sure could be that it was uh it was a false track uh, false tracking by facebook it could be that that uh, somebody actually uh purchased but but decided that they don't want it or they they got the charge reversed somehow i really don't know so i would i would suggest you to reach out to our support team so they could look into this particular case for you they can actually see 
if something comes in and it maybe that didn't show up for some reason could be could be a bug um i really don't know but there could be a couple of things that could that have happened so uh, please reach out to our our support team and have them look into this case for you hi david can you please demonstrate a bit on animations like adding a delay to a block before it shows up on the screen only on mobile devices um you cannot select the delay on a specific device uh, if you add a delay to a block it shows up on all the devices the delay is not specific to one device so it could be that is why you were not successful with it uh delay setting and animation settings are not specific to devices it's specific to an element um so there's that but i'm pretty confident you know how to set up a delay it's very simple you basically uh, select a block you want to delay or let's just say i want to delay this button i go to the delay section on here and i delay it with 25 seconds basically that's it you 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 go to a different uh window and uh, and that is that is it so uh and this is not done per device because it's done by per element also the delay and animation act the same way in this case um when going to be the groovy on uh it's going to be on thursday 10th of june basically thursday this week 3 p.m eastern standard time we're preparing marketing material for for you to, to see this was a last minute um last minute plan we have planned it for for end of june but um i believe that it is good to do it right now so it, we, it was decided yesterday we are preparing uh, the communication everybody will receive um the information about that very soon and the last question that i will answer for today um where and when is the groovathon with mike phil saying that you mentioned i explained what the when the where you also receive information about it's going to be in go to webinar we're going to do a webinar as as we normally do with the uh, state of the groovian so um that's basically it let's ladies and gentlemen i answered most of the questions let's just see groove mail question groove mail question there's two times more it was the first thing i answered so once we finish this um this live stream you can immediately watch the replay the first thing i answer in the first 10 seconds of the video is that um and one question about the subdomain you can feel free to reach out to our uh, to our community they would be able to um to help you with that and uh, share something about the sharing of the page also reach out to our community they would be able to assist you on this so ladies and gentlemen thank you very much this has been two hours 11 minutes i will wrap this up for today we can meet on friday as well but this week there is a lot of things happening in groove so we are doing again the live q a's we are also doing simon leong's uh, videos almost every day we are doing state of the groovian on thursday in two days basically uh which is going to be a, a feature-packed uh, video where where we, Mike comes on and explains you what's happening with Groove. Also, we are doing a Groove Asia launch, which is bringing on experts from the from all sorts of fields. I will be teaching on there as well. Damian Bradshaw, um, Donna Fox, and a lot of different people from our from our company and partners and and basically people that want to contribute will be there. Uh, teaching what they know so that you guys can use Groove up to its full potential. So that is it. Uh, let's meet all back again on Friday. Hopefully we'll meet you here. And then if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to the support team, support.groovedigital.com or on the, on the Facebook group of Groove. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. See you next time.